Welcome to episode 7 of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we continue our flashback series featuring View Studio and Lynx Enterprise with a video detailing how to import PLC5 and Slick 500 tags into View Studio. At this point, I want to go ahead and create some HMI tags for my old SLC or PLC processors. The reason we create tags for these processors is that they they have registers uh, and we want to give them English names to make them easier to remember when we do our screen design. So in this case, I'll go ahead and create a folder and I'll call it PLC5. I'll put all my PLC5 tags in this folder. Um, actually, I can't call it PLC5 because I'll have a conflict later on. That's the name of my shortcut and I can't have a folder name that matches a shortcut name. So I'll go ahead and call it PLC5 tags. Okay, now that I've done that, I could actually browse from my tag addresses if the PLC was connected, or I could actually type them in if I knew the syntax. But in this case, I actually have the PLC5 project on my computer, so I'm going to browse for the uh, PLC5 database and pull those tags out. And that can be accessed either using the toolbar or using the menu. Okay, so here, let's go find our PLC5 project. I'll go ahead and select that file. And one important note here is make sure you put in the RSLink shortcut name exactly. If you put it in wrong here, it will be wrong in all the tags you import. Now I'll use the control key here to select some uh, different tags. We'll select some integers, some binaries, and we'll go down and select some timers as well. Okay, great. So at this point I'll hit OK. And now I've imported those tags into my tag database into my PLC5 tags folder. Now keep in mind that again your shortcut name is going to show up in every tag address so you don't want to change that shortcut name later or else you'll be coming in here and changing all your tag addresses after the fact. Well that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.